Hello everyone, this is The Mash, and what I've got here is going to be a Gears of War 3 gameplay on Bullet Mash, Team Deathmatch, not one shot, one kill, or shotgun and snipers for, for a little bit of a change right here, I had this on my hard drive, and I'm playing with Avenge Kirby in this gameplay, this was when we was uh, warming up for the Would You Rather little uh, videos that we made, which we're going to do a few more of soon, he's just been a little ill lately, so I haven't really been able to do any, uh, any videos with him, but anyway, what I want to talk about today is something that sprang to my mind after I did the uh, dual commentary with my uh, with my best friend Shane, and it was about what what our friends and uh, how I maybe I met a few of my friends. And the reason this crossed my mind is it's kind of kind of weird determining what is a friend exactly. And um, I found this paragraph online that I just want to quickly read before I get into this, and it says. Friends are a special people. If you are a friend, it means you were chosen. You are not in someone's life by happenstance or by accident of birth. You are in someone's life because he or she wants you there. And that that kind of, um, that, you know, that made me smile a little because I do kind of agree with that. Uh... Well, I do agree with that. You know, people, you're not, you're not someone's friend just because they just, they, they choose to be your friend because, uh, they, they like you. And, um, I was thinking. I don't have that many friends. Uh, I could probably count the amount of friends I have uh, in real life on both my hands. If I probably couldn't even fill up all the fingers on both my hands with the amount of friends I know in real life. There's not that many, to be honest with you guys. And uh, I was trying to class what I choose as a friend. And I, there's a lot of people I've known from school. A lot of people I've known when I was younger. And you'll find that a lot of people at school that you're friends with while you're at school... After you leave school and when you get older, you, you'll you you won't see those guys again. A, a lot of them, some of them, you know, some people, and this, this is the same with me. A few people from a school, um, <clears throat> a few of them I've uh, stuck with. I've seen outside of school uh, as I grew up. Actually, a, uh, one of them uh, is my he's called Billy. He's a good friend of mine. Um, I have only just started like you know uh, going out, chilling out with him, drinking, and seeing him like. Uh, this past year, and I, I left school, I think, like, four years ago, so it's been a few years since I left school until I started seeing him again, and, um, the crazy thing is, um, <clears throat> I think the people that, uh, we continue seeing after school and, and after our education, I think are the people that we really choose to be our friends, and people that, uh, I think we probably saw outside of school whilst we were at school anyway, um, but I was thinking to myself what I class as a friend, because I, I know a, quite a few people that I don't see very often, like, maybe every now and then, every few months, I don't know, like, on the odd, odd off chance. And I was thinking, would I class those guys as, as friends? Um, or would I class the people I see on speak to on a more daily basis as friends? And uh, it's hard to determine, really. I think it depends on how long I've, maybe I've known them and um, what, what, what we've done each, for each other in the past. And... Um, yeah, it's weird. You know, the thing is, I know a lot of people on Xbox who I speak to all the time, and I class I class everybody on Xbox that I speak to a lot, and everybody online as my friends, because I I can relate to them, I speak to them, I know them. I may have not seen, you know, a lot of people in real life, um, but I class, class those guys as friends, and the same thing goes with you guys. You're my friends. Uh, actually, this may sound a bit corny, but I kind of class you as like my, my family in a way, like my second family, the MASH family. You guys know my, uh, my little secret of my YouTube-ness. Uh, I don't actually go out and start splurting out, hello, I'm the Yummy MASH from YouTube. Uh, it's, not, it's not something I just go out about. If somebody says to me, like, what do I do now? I just say, oh, I... Uh, yeah, I just have like a little thing on my on my PC. It's, it's boring. You don't need to know about it. I don't. I, I know. I know. I shouldn't really be embarrassed to talk about it, but it just seems way too fantasy like, really. But uh, that, anyway, that kind of went a bit off topic there. I was talking about friends, weren't I? So yeah, it's like I've never really had many friends. Like I said, at school, I was not like I was a bit nerdy. I, I loved to go home on my computer or on my Xbox or watch TV and play play children's card games when I was younger, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, I know. I know. I. I did that, and um, actually I met a lot of people from Yu-Gi-Oh that I haven't seen in years because I stopped playing that, so uh, would I class those guys from Yu-Gi-Oh as my friends? I probably would because I've known them throughout my childhood, but um, because I didn't really go out much, I honestly I've kind of had, I have a select few friends, and I don't think that's a problem. I think it's good to have maybe, maybe a, a dozen or less friends who are good friends you've known for a long time throughout your childhood than a lot of friends who you've just, you know, met maybe on the off occasion and you just you know deem them as a friend and it's really weird you know kind of p 
pinpointing exactly what a friend is, and I, I, I don't know. I don't even know why I made this commentary exactly. Uh, but you know, this guy was saying how uh, you know real friends they keep secrets, they keep promises, they they keep appointments, they know not to hurt each other's feelings and stuff. Like I was, I was just reading through it, and you know, it kind of pulled something, like pulled a string on my heart, I guess. And I was thinking that, yeah, I know. And um, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. So guys, hope you enjoyed this commentary about friends and stuff. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.